In this video, we're going to show you a couple quick and easy ways to anneal brass. The common way is to just heat the top of the case mouth and then tip it over into water. The way I actually prefer is to fill the case with a little bit of water then heat it with a torch by hand. The key here is you don't want to see the case mouth actually start to glow. If you do, the temperature has gotten way too hot to anneal and you've actually done damage to the case and possibly removed some of the zinc content. Shown here, you can see the typical rainbow colors associated with annealed brass. Using the down and dirty way to anneal brass that we just demonstrated to you, we wanted to validate our results. Using 40 caliber once fired brass, we repeatedly flared and resized the brass. Six shell casings were annealed using the method previously shown, six were not annealed. The reason for 40 caliber brass was because it was straight walled and did not necessitate the use for lube during this process. While not a perfect indicator for service life, this does give you somewhat of an idea of how well annealed brass can work. On the left, you can see a piece of non-annealed brass which is starting to exhibit stress pressures at the case mouth. You can clearly see stress fractures all along the leading edge of the brass. The non-annealed brass all show these classic signs between 16 and 31 reloadings. The annealed brass made it a minimum of 35 cycles and one piece even held on for an impressive 48 cycles. While this is not a perfect test, this video should give you the basic idea of the principles behind annealing and the benefits you can achieve.